New day. New road. So last night was really great. Uh, thank God these guys from uh, from Albania gave me a place to stay. It was really nice. So it was a long day. And today I hope to do it a bit longer. I'm already an hour and a half late. <laughs> but I'm trying to do 190 km. Let's see. I, I doubt I can do it, but uh, I'll try. So everything is ready. And uh, yeah, let's hit the road. Road to Norcap. And it's uh, 2.30. I did 106 kilometers, 94 to go. I meanwhile find a host in uh, Orbru, I think it's the name of the city. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's close to 200 kilometers, I think, when I, when I get there. So, because I left an hour and a half later than I forecasted, I had no time to really take a longish break. So just stop, eat something very quick, and get back on the bike. And uh, it's been a tough day because pushing since this morning. So now it's uh, 5.47. I've been pedaling, effective pedaling, eight hours and seven minutes. I did 162 kilometers. And the average is 19.9. So very fast with the new, with the new wheels. So the last two hours pushing. And uh, I'll make a little record the longest day so far. But today I'm happy that I good progress to Norca up 200 kilometers. So it's almost like a double day. So very, very pleased with myself. I wonder if I can maintain an average of 150 kilometers a day. If it doesn't rain, perhaps yes, but should be good another two, three days. Another three days, it should be good, I think. Then it will start raining. But yeah, I will try to maintain 150 kilometers per day. I think that's sustainable. 200? Yeah, I don't think so. So if I maintain uh, 150 kilometers average per day, should be there in less than two weeks. Today is September 5th, so September 19th. I could be in Norcap. That's quite good. I wanted to get there before the 25th, so yeah. I think uh, I will be there before the 25th. Wishful thinking. Finally arrived to Orbro and uh, I'm at my host. The bike situation doesn't look very good. I did 200, over 200 kilometers. It's 10, 10 to 8. Pedal for 10 hours. Over 200 kilometers. 19.7 the average. The average was 20. But then here navigating in the city, I lost a bit of time. So anyway, good progress to Norcap. I'm exhausted, I'm really exhausted. Today I'm gonna cycle 160, 162 kilometers, which seems much less than yesterday, which was the 200. But it's still a lot, 160. 18 kilometers to go. Ooh, I'm tired. I am tired. 
but I will be there before sunset for sure. this well that's a black cat so the black cats just cross the street here what should I do guys wait till a car comes or should I continue is it bad luck because many Italians, they would just stop here until, <laughs> until a car comes. Ciao. I don't care. I'm not superstitious. Five kilometers to go, guys. Five. So this warm shower told me it has five houses. Uh, next to the lake, but he has 70 students there today, so there's no place for me. He said I could camp, but camping next to the lake is not fun. It's cold, it's damp, I will wake up in the morning and everything is wet, so that would have been a bad decision to take this detour. But he seems a nice guy, he, he cycles around the world. So I asked if he had a roof the area, like a garage or something. He said where he stored his bikes, I could put the tent there. This is what I slept last night. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice and dry, nice and dry. Success, success. I'm now charging my phone. I charge all the batteries. I had three or four GoPro batteries that, and then uh, I'll hit the road. Today, I don't know how much I'll do, but I'll try to do another 150K. Great night last night with uh, Wilfred. I arrived there. They were already having dessert. They students were off somewhere the teachers there was uh, five teachers they were having dessert but Wilfred make sure there was something for me today I don't have any hosts lined up but there's a town I want to get to it's about 160 kilometers that's my goal for the night, for the day. Good morning. And, uh, yeah. Then I will, uh, there's no warm shower hose there. I will check if there is, uh, I sent our uh, some couch surfing request, but uh, nobody replied. So anyway, I will mind knock on some doors and ask for a empty barn or something. Something with a roof where I can pitch my tent. Also, I'm grateful, so I'm happy. I didn't have to backtrack those 13 kilometers to Avesta because uh, I'm changing routes. Oh, instead of going up, Somewhere in the middle in Sweden, I will do at least for a, a while. I will do a road uh, that is close to the coast, to the coastal line. Now I'm following this uh, road that is not busy. It's a local road, as you can see now, it becomes a dirt road. But at some point, I will join the main road the main coastal line road and uh, 
my host told me sometimes it's a bit busy with traffic and when it's one lane it's okay because there is a there is a shoulder but when it becomes double lane there's no much shoulder it's like yesterday i was in a road like that the 68 and yeah the cars are okay but the the trucks they don't want to slow down sometimes they pass you very close very very close and then he told me motorists will horn you because they think you cannot be on that road because they think it's supposed to be a fast road but you are allowed so we'll say anyway for uh, today i'm gonna do this road uh, oh, i think now that i took this one i will just go up at least three four days and uh, yeah that's it guys that's my plan let's enjoy this dirt road alone no traffic later we will deal with it actually I just checked my email and I got an email from someone that lives 15 kilometers west of the town I was heading today that uh, he is able to host me I checked on my map and I can do a different route that uh, it's probably better because it's probably not even uh, busy and uh, I should be there in about 150 kilometers so it's doable I think I can make it before the sunset around 7 p.m. The sunset today should be around uh, 7.30, I think. If I go straight up, I'm a bit faster than the loss of sunlight. Not sure you, you get me. But for example, when I was in uh, Copenhagen, the sunset at 7.28, I think. And, uh, and last night it was 7.40. So yeah, if I go straight and fast, I should be faster than the, than the loss of sunlight. I shot the sherry. Ooh, the end of dirt. Yes, yes, sir. The wind is strong. I hope the road continues curving towards the right. Otherwise, I'm gonna be tough tough kilometers here I'm a bit sheltered okay now it's mostly on my side with that turn it should uh, it should be tailwind almost kind of because the wind is blowing in this direction I uh, look at the Look at the flag, it's blowing like this, so it's cute, it's cute, not good that I'm going left now, not good, this is a big turn to the left, not good, not good, but then it goes right again, another day is coming to an end, Today was an enjoyable ride. It was all in a fairly secluded places. I mean, 
There was no traffic. Some dirt, little roads in the forest. Very pleasant, pleasant. Now I'll be in a one hour, I should be to my host. Again, another host tonight. Very lucky. It's quarter past six, I should be there by 20 past seven. I did 136 kilometers. And by the time I get there, I will be done 151 kilometers. So good progress, keeping my average of 150. Eyes on the ball.